kick off with the intro here. We got our main riff, all right, which is this like galloping open E palm muted thing. Uh, so just get plenty of gain distortion going. Okay. And like I said, just this open E power chord. And, you know, we kind of started off by just hitting one. Then we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we just kind of keep that triple going, okay? So we've got to get that technique down. Pretty much the uh, crux of the whole song there. Um, okay, so we carry the, those galloping triples there uh, all the way into the second measure. And at the very end of the second measure there, in this intro section, which uh, this is also the post-chorus, and it happens a couple times there, then we just kind of finish it with a couple of those open E's. And then we go an F sharp power chord, two on the E, four on the A, to a G power chord, three on the E, five on the A. All right, and that just kind of carries into the next measure. And then we got to get down these uh, harmonic techniques. All right, so initially it'll come up and hit some 12s on the G and the B there. Okay, so just lightly hover your finger over the strings. 12th fret there. Then we move down to fives on the G, B, and E. Do the same thing with those harmonics. And when we hit those, then we get some tremolo action going on. A lot of technique involved in the song. So you hit those, and then we just do a couple of dips. All right, just down dips with them. All right. And just kind of do a big slide out at 12th fret of the E. Start it back over. Continuing on with the intro, uh, basically we repeat that first section with those galloping uh, E power chords into the F sharp to G. All right, same deal there. Uh, but now we're just going to go through it a few times and just end it a little differently. Okay. So uh, second time through, we end it by doing this big G6 chord, which just kind of make like a G power chord through on the E5 and the A and D there and keep the G, B and E open, strum that and just give it some vibrato. Okay, and then come up and hit those 12s on the D and G for that harmonic and just do like a big dive right there. All right, and go through the pattern again, the E uh, power chord gallops into the F sharp to G, end it the third time through. And at this point, uh, all the instruments are coming in like the drums and the bass and all that. Um, so just for reference there, uh, we end it this time just by hitting uh, some 12 harmonics on the GBE, hit those, kind of let them ring in the next measure, do about four dips on them, then do a slide out at 12 of the E. All right, go through our pattern again, and then end it the last time with that same G6 chord. Vibrato there. Uh, this time we do some harmonic dips at seven on the G, couple there and then just come up and hit 12s on the G and the D. Do a big dive there. Alright, so just kind of playing around with these harmonics, dives, and a lot of different fun techniques here. patterns. Uh, we carry our galloping E power chords uh, pretty much through two straight measures. Okay, and then we just kind of end it with this uh, couple little gallops there. And then we just hit this C power chord, three on the A, five on the D and G. And just let that ring. And uh, you can give it a little dip with the tremolo towards the end of it, you know. Have fun with it. Okay, and then we just cap it off with this quick little uh, power chord slide up. 
from D to E, all right, so 5A, 7D there. Slide it up to 7 and 9 for the E. Just do that twice, all right, just to cap that off. Uh, go through our galloping E's for that two measures again, and then just basically repeat all of that twice for the verse, okay? Uh, special little note, in the second verse, you can add this little addition at the end, just a fun little thing. Um, it's just this quick little hammer on pull off on open and two of the D. All right, just fun little thing at the uh, end of the second verse. section uh, starts with this descending power chord thing we go C power chord three on a five on the D and G there down a fret to the B power chord two on the a four on the D and G then we just hit come up hit this five on E slide it out for a all right then we go to a few E power chord strums All right, and this next section is basically a combination of what the two left and right guitars are doing. Um, so if you just want to play one, you know, the first guitar, just play what's on the E string here. If you want to play the second guitar, play what's on the uh, D string, or you can get, you know, fancy and combine them both, which is always nice to do if you just got the one guitar. So essentially it's kind of based around this C chord that's happening in the background. Uh, but we can do it this way where we're, Three on the E, two on the D. Bring it up to five and four. Then we go seven E, five D. Back down to the five and four. To the three and two. Now we stretch a bit. We go two E, five on the A here. To the five on the E, three on the A. And then we come back to our three E strums. Okay, and then we just cap the whole thing off by doing a D power chord for a couple measures. Down to an A power chord for a couple measures. And the second measure of this, you basically just rest. Post second chorus, uh, we get to add a new little ending to our main galloping riff. All right, so we do our galloping E riff all the way into the second measure here. All right, we do about one of the gallops in the start of the second measure, and then we hit a couple of them, and we do this little bit where we slide a power chord, a G power chord, to an A, so three five to the five and seven, and then we do the 5-7 on the A and D for the D power chord, slide that up to 7 and 9 for the E power chord. Okay, just a new fun little way to end it. Bridge section gets a little funky. We got uh, two guitars doing two different things. First guitar is just playing this really muted uh, arpeggiated thing um, and it's based around a C chord and basically you just want to do a couple measures of the C chord picking through it do like the 3A open G 2D 1B 2G and this is just heavily muted so something like that okay All right, it's just real muted kind of choppy staccato notes um, second measure of it do something like 1B open G 3A, do a little open to two hammer on the D to the open G. All right, then we move down to an A. 
So kind of picking through it the similar way, real choppy, muted, uh, open A, 2G, open A, hit the D and G on the second fret, open A, 2D, do a little hammer on 2 to 4 on the A, back to the 2D, and then we do a little bit of like a suspended 4 pull off to A, 2G, 3B, pull that off to the 2s. You can kind of come off of it a little bit with this. All right. So that's what the first guitar is doing. Just real appreciated choppy thing. Um, more recommended, you probably want to do what the second guitar is doing, which is just kind of hitting some power chords. Uh, hits like a C power chord a few times. Second measure of it hits it once, kind of three closer together. Down to the A power chord, open three strums hit it once more and then just kind of finish with like a vibrato on third fret of the E All right. so probably the second guitar is the way you want to go but just in case you want to do both here's how you do them uh, in the remainder of the bridge you basically do the post chorus section again go through the bridge section again and uh, you'd be all set bridge section and this is also the ending of the song what's happening at the very end uh, just kind of a new ending for a galloping riff all right do a full measure of the E power chord gallops and then the second measure we do open E power chord to a F sharp so 2 E 4 A G 3 E 5 A up to an A power chord 5 E 7 A Okay, just a little walking up of uh, power chords. Into the solo now. Uh, during the solo, the second guitar is basically playing the bridge, post bridge, uh, again. All right, so we'll start here, come up high. We'll be 15 on the B, give it a bend, hit it, release it, come off to 12. Bend 14 E. All right, release that 14 off to 12. A little bit of a scale up. We go 14, 15, 17 E. 14, 15, 17 on the B. 14, 15, 16 G. Then we hit 14s on the G and B a couple times, off to 12s. Slide that out. Alright, continuing here, we do this muted uh, strumming kind of gliss that comes up. Okay, just like arbitrary say like three of the E and then we just kind of okay, just strum it muted bring it all the way back up kind of a reverse pipeline or something I guess all right and then we get back in our uh, area here where we'll be 15 on the B bend it release off to 12 and then do a 14 D hold it slide it out All right, now we kind of scale up a bit more here. We go 12, 14, 15 on the E to 14, 12. Okay, kind of following the vocal there. All right, we go coming off of that 12 to E, 15, 12, B. Okay, 12, 14, 15. Right there on the E. Come up to 17 E, bend it. Hold it a moment, bend it again, release it off to 15. Okay, do the 17 bend again, release it off to 15, land on 17B. Last 
best part of the solo. Uh, we'll be here in this 15, 17 area. And we're just going to do some quick uh, pull off type deals. Uh, we'll go 15E and then do a 17 to 15B and just go through that really quick about four times. All right, and then we just cap that off by 14s on the G and B to slide that to 12. And then slide a 12E out. Once we get to the outro, we kind of get this free feel uh, with some harmonic dips, just kind of a uh, loose improv vibe going on. So just start with something like, uh, you know, uh, seventh fret G harmonic. Do about four or five dips there. Just. Okay, hit some fives on the GBE. All right, then we can kind of come up and do a little wacky scale here. We go open G, 12, B, 14, E. Okay, do a couple of those 14s on the E, a couple 12s on the B, hit the 14 G, slide that 12 E out. Then we get into this uh, kind of riffy vibe now uh, with the harmonics. Uh, we do seven harmonic on the D, seven harmonic A, hit the 12 on the G, back to the seven on the A. Okay, and you can do that a couple times. Continuing with the outro, some more uh, harmonics here. Uh, we do 7G, 7D, 12E, 12B. All right, and now we can start this like uh, descending chord riff thing that happens. Um, come up high here, we go 15B, 12E. Bring the 15 to 14, keep the 12 E. Kind of flip it, we go 13 B, 15 E to 12s on the B and E. You repeat that about three times. 